Sammy, what do you think this arrow's for? Shooting. Shooting what? Fish. Shooting fish. Now, you know what? A lot of people get their dinner different ways. Sometimes we go to the store mm -hmm. and get our dinner. Sometimes we raise our vegetables here. Sometimes other people raise our vegetables. Sometimes we hunt in the woods and I bring home a deer and we have deer recipes or we'll right. quail hunt. Sometimes I take this bow and arrow with this funny looking end. See that right there? That's got a barb on it. So when I see a great big fish and I want to shoot that fish, look right here, Sammy. That right there goes through the fish and then this barb holds it. So I push my little button right here. I pull my bow back. Grab my hold that if you will. Now because, I'll have to do this sideways, but because I only have the use of my one arm from a motorcycle wreck, I shoot the bow like this. Grab it with my teeth, pull back, and release by opening my mouth. Now, we are going down to Barclay to get some of these fish, and we're also gonna talk about these in the next couple weeks, how good they are to actually eat. Now they have a bad stigma because they have the name carp at right. the end. But these are not an indigenous species. They've been introduced accidentally into this country. Now they're wreaking havoc. So the more that we can get out of the water, the better. So here's a shot of me shooting a fish, a big one. Watch this, this is how this works. Look, biggest fish I've ever stuck. Dude, it's a hog, it's not even right. This may be the biggest fish I've ever stuck with an arrow. I can't even hardly believe how big this fish is. Never in my life seen such a fish. <laughs> All right, let me explain what just happened here. Our goal today was to come to Barkley, find one of those invasive species of big head carp, and try to find one, and what, what my goal was, and still is, is to take one of these things home and clean it and try different recipes on it, because there's enough meat on one of them for four or five meals. Because if a person could learn to utilize this meat, it would be a heck, oh, there's a huge one right there. It would be a great way to get a bunch of fish in the freezer. I don't know how much this fish weighs, but it's almost as big as I am. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? <sighs> okay. All right, that's ridiculous. So this was a fish that I shot down below Barkley. There are millions of them down there. Nikki and I went down there a couple weeks ago, and here's some pictures of the, some of the fish that we shot. Here's a little bit of video of me shooting, so on and so forth. It's absolutely legal to shoot any rough fish species. I could shoot a gar, and if they're a native species, I could shoot a spotted gar, I could shoot any kind of gar, but I'm not gonna do that. These are the only thing I will shoot right now and let back to die. Because again, they're an invasive species and they're really messing up fishes all over the United States. So I don't ever shoot anything that is indigenous to Kentucky anymore. Only the invasive species. There's also grass carp in here, which is another invasive species that have taken off. So these fish are good to eat. And we're gonna talk about that in just a little while. It's amazing how many millions and millions of these fish that are there, they're not supposed to be there. So biologists are trying to figure out how to get these out of our waterways. Now the thing about these fish are, there's not a whole lot of meat on them. They're mostly head, but the meat that is there, because they're plankton strainers, they open up their mouth and the plankton, they eat the plankton in the water, the zooplankton. So the fish meat is really white and really clean and it's tasty. It we is. did it three ways. Brian Vollen and I did, he's a producer for Kentucky Field when I worked over there. We tried it three different ways. It was absolutely wonderful. We'll talk to somebody here in the next week or so about that. But we had fun down there, didn't we, Grandma? We did. What did you think about that, seeing that for the first time? I was, I would not want to fall in the water, I'll tell you that. But I enjoyed watching you shoot the fish. It wasn't amazing. You got one every shot, yes, that was fun. How many there were? That was fun. So maybe one day you can help me shoot some fish, both of you. Would you like to shoot a fish someday? Yeah. I think we can probably make that happen. Fun. Yeah.